Hello, welcome to the video on discordant and concordant coastlines. Now, I know a few of you have asked by email for some, some support with this. So, we're going to start off with our discordant coastline. So, I've got hard and soft rock alternating in bands going along our coastline. We have got our waves and our ocean here. We will have the direction of prevailing wind. And over a period of time, we're going to see coastal erosion occurring. So hydraulic action, abrasion um, occurring on, along the coastline. But because we've got bands of harder and softer rock or more resistant and less resistant rock, we're going to see a range of different coastal features occurring along the coastline. So after a significant period of time, what you will see with your coastline is the fact that actually you'll end up with these features occurring. And here, again, if I now draw on our bands of soft and harder rock again, you will notice that actually we have got different features being created. One of the features that you can first label on is a headland, which we've talked about in previous lessons and on previous videos. Then you've got features such as a bay. And within a bay, you then get depositional features such as beaches so that is where the sediment has been eroded normally from the headlands transported inland and creates our beaches now the reason this happens again is because we've got different resistance levels of the rock if you've got a harder rock it's going to wear away at a much slower pace than a softer rock which is going to erode away at a much faster pace again so you get these little outcrops that we call headlands and we get bays within them. Now, again, that is a discordant coastline. That is where we're seeing these bands of harder and softer rock. Now, if I was to make those bands parallel, and if I slide this over just here, if I was to make those bands parallel and do it slightly differently on a concordant coastline, so if I put the title here, concordant, I will see these bands running parallel. So I may see a harder, softer, a harder rock again and a softer rock now this time because we don't have this alternation of hard and soft rock over a significant period of time we don't get the same level of geographical coastal features that you would expect to find on a discordant coastline you may end up simply with a coastline that does this so there's my hard rock after a significant period of time there's my soft there's my hard and there's my soft again and you don't see the same significant features in my second diagram as you would in on a discordant coastline. So a concordant coastline here, where I've got my hard rock, because it's all eroding at a similar sort of time scale, over a similar sort of time scale, you don't get those significant features. If you look back across, you don't get bays. You don't get the large scale headlands that you're used to seeing on a discordant coastline. So if you get a four mark question that asks you about the differences and the impact rock strata or the impact different types of rock can have on your coastline, it's going to depend on what feet it's going to or it's going to sorry dictate the features that you will find along the coastline. If we have parallel concordant hard rock, you are going to see less features, less coastal features than if you have alternating bands on a discordant coastline where you're going to find significant features: headlands, caves, arch, stacks, stumps depositional landforms such as bays uh, sorry beaches within bays now also if you take this if this was a softer rock here you may find the fact that actually you get significant erosion happening and you put risk to anybody living in the properties that may be by the coastline or farmland that's there or any significant economic activity such as oil refineries that you find down in southampton if you've got a softer rock and it erodes over a much quicker time scale then you're going to see much faster erosion and depletion of land and that's going to impact on people such as you've seen up in um, the northeast of england by the holden s coastline so again to recap discordant coastline harder and softer bands you get headlands and bays you get depositional landforms such as beaches being created on a concordant you get parallel hard and soft rock strata and then over a significant period of time, again, you just don't get those key geographical features that we've talked about with discordant coastlines because it's eroded at the same pace. It can either be hard or soft. 
Now, a soft example would be the Holdness coastline in Yorkshire. And if you type that in um, on YouTube or any BBC sort of articles, you will see the significant erosion that is taking place there. I hope this helps.